Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a junior doctor working in Cambridge, and in this episode of Medical Mondays, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Littman Cardiology 4 fancy ass stethoscope. Big thank you to Medisafe for sending this to me for free. They're a great place where you can buy stethoscopes and other medical stuff. I'll put a link in the video description. But yeah, I've been using the Littman Classic 2, the standard one, for the last six years. This is like the fancy model that all the cardiologists use that apparently makes it easier to see stuff. So let's just unbox it and then I'll start using this from now on because this will make me a better doctor. Oh, look at that. It's so fat compared to this one. Supposedly, the more fat the stethoscope is, the easier it, the sound travels through it. Something to do with physics. Look how shiny this chrome, chrome thing is. That's really cool. Okay, wonderful. Um, what else is in the box? Uh, it comes with, what is this? This is some kind of pen. Oh, it's a torch. It's a pen that's a torch as well with uh, MediSave branding on it. Thanks guys for sending this to me for free again. Very kind of you. If we had an anamorphic lens, this would look like a really cool flare right now. And there is a manual that teaches you how to use the stethoscope. All right, time to see how this thing actually works. Oh, also, they sent me this uh, carry case for it. The cardiology stethoscope case. Oh, it's quite nice. Look at that. I suppose this fits, somehow fits in here. Okay, yeah, I can get on board with that. Fits nicely in there. Actually, not a bad carry case. To be honest, I probably won't use the carry case because I'm just going to chuck it in my bag, but it's uh, nice to have anyway. Thank you, MediSafe, for sending me that one too. Right, let's try this on and see if it's any good. So I'm going to listen in the aortic region first. Good. Heart sounds one and two present. No added sounds, no murmurs. This is a good sign. Pulmonary region, tricuspid valve region, oh, and mitral region. Solid. I don't have anything wrong with my heart. Let's just compare it to this one. Okay, stuff definitely sounds louder with this one than with this one. And I think that'll be quite handy because often I don't really trust my ears when I hear stuff with a stethoscope. And I have to kind of sit there for ages being like, is that really what I heard? Is that really what I heard? But I think this will make it easier to hear stuff. Um, let's listen to breath sounds now. So. That's good. Chest is clear anteriorly. I wonder if I can hear at, the, at my back as well. Okay, that sounds nice and healthy. And let's compare it to this one, the classic two. Yeah, stuff definitely sounds louder with the Cardiology 4 than the Classic 2, but I suppose that's exactly what you would expect. Like, this is an expensive cardiology stethoscope for cardiology consultants. Uh, this is the standard stethoscope that all medical students and junior doctors use. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm not really sure what else goes into the review of a stethoscope. I mean, this one is a bit fatter. It comes in nice colors. Uh, you can customize the finish on the, the bell bit of it. I went for the shiny finish because I thought it looked cool. They've also got this in matte black, which could have been quite cool as well. Um, it's very slightly heavier. Yeah, this is a little bit heavier. Actually, it's quite a lot heavier than this one. I imagine that this would hurt your shoulders after a while of use if you're not used to it. But I guess it then makes your shoulders a bit more hench, which is always good. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, should you upgrade from the Classic 2 to the Cardiology 4? Probably not. I mean, I know some consultants who still use their original Classic 2 stethoscopes or the original stethoscope because their theory is that if you can't hear it with a normal stethoscope, then it doesn't matter enough for you to care about. <laughs> Whereas I suppose a cardiology consultant who's more, you know, who actually needs to hear murmurs and stuff would care about having a fancier stethoscope. But then having said that, you know, if, if you think someone does have a murmur, you'd probably just echo them anyway. So it doesn't really matter what you hear through the stethoscope. One situation where I can see this being useful is I've been on the elderly medicine ward for the last two months or so, and I've found that often the consultants will listen to the patients through the clothing, like rather than, you know, doing the whole faff of getting them to undress and things like that. Um, I think for cases where patients have difficulty in sitting forward, difficulty in like undressing themselves, it can save you quite, quite a bit of time when you, when you just kind of listen through the clothes and you can say, yep, the chest sounds clear for a patient who's, who you know to be fit for discharge anyway. So I suppose in those contexts, it will be useful to have this thing that lets you hear stuff more loudly because then you can listen through clothing rather than having to undress the patient. But apart from that, I don't really see many huge benefits of upgrading. But hey, at least I have this one now. Thank you MediSave again for sending this over my way. Will it make me a better doctor? Probably not, but <laughs> I need all the help I can get. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please consider doing so. I make videos about medicine and technology reviews and productivity and study and education and stuff like that. So if that sounds up your street, then you might like to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.